go to sands too. We do need to try and find some sandpaper, and we should be able to find two different types in this these boxes here. One type is a rough one. You can tell by the number on the back. It says P80. That means it's 80 grit, which the lower the number, the rougher it is. And we've got some other one here. P120. Okay. Also says fine. And this one here says medium. Okay. That's if you're lucky enough to be able to see what's written on the back of it. When you're working on the top of the spoon, it's best to do that in your hand. We'll do this a little bit more later, but uh, I'm going to show you how to go on with doing the handle of the spoon. It's easier if it's in a vise, and we can use sandpaper like that. It makes it a lot easier for you. Again, if you push too hard on the end of this handle, you'll snap that up. Once you've made the handle nice and smooth, we can start work on the end. It's a bit hard to work on the end when it's in the box. You see me trying to round up a little bit, it's not real easy. I'll find the best way to do that. So hold the spoon in your hand, hold the paper, sandpaper flat on the table, and rotate it on that sandpaper. Flip it over, put it on the other side. And do the rest in your hand. That's not looking too bad. And the same can be done on the other end too. Hardest part to see is this inside part. Alterating the ways that we're sanding makes it easier on your hands. If you sit there doing the same technique the whole time, your fingers are going to get very sore. So, Once you get sick of doing it one way, swap it over. Now that's not quite done enough, but you can see it's starting to become a lot smoother all over. Now, the decision to go into your smooth sandpaper should only be done when you can't see any saw marks, when you can't see any marks from the rasp anymore. So, what you use, keep using this rough sandpaper until all of these marks are gone. Okay, now it's time for us to sand the inside of the spoon. Hopefully earlier on we did the right thing and we made this nice and smooth because we can't use those chisels on it anymore. If we go and try and chisel this now, we can't hold it in the vise properly because we don't have that jig anymore. So we're going to have to sand it by hand and the only way to do that is you can wrap that sandpaper into a smaller piece like this and you have to do it like this and it could take a while okay some students have taken 
I've seen them spend three lessons doing just this part of the spoon. Okay? If you've done a good job on this, you might be able to do it in, I've seen one smoothed out in as little as five minutes. Okay? Depends how good a job you've done with that chisel. Again, you'll notice I only sand one side of the spoon, and then I'll rotate it around and sand on the other side. You see a bit of rough stuff on the end of the spoon. I'll try and get that off too. Once you're happy with the finish of the rough sandpaper, you can go and get some of the finer sandpaper, the P120, and give it a go over with that. Alright, that's as much smoothing as I'm going to do today. Uh, if I, you can see there's a few rough spots. I'd want to keep working on that a little bit more. But uh, to the point of showing you what to do, I think I've gone far enough today. If you're after a uh, really good mark, like a uh, 90%, you want to get rid of all these little rough spots on the spoon. And the other way, only way to get rid of those is by using that rough sandpaper. Notice there's a few more rough spots on the handle up here as well. You'd want to get rid of those to get yourself in the 90s. Okay? If I was to mark that spoon there, it'd be somewhere between 70 and 80. Obviously I'd be asking for a more uh, there's a very basic shape, I'd be asking for something with a bit more design in it, a bit more thought has gone into it. Okay, this is a basic spoon because I just wanted to show you the basics of making a spoon. Just want to show you some of the uh, better spoons that I've had over the years. The better spoons tend to be those that show a little bit more creativity. Now, this one here is of a giraffe. It's using the same methods as the spoon. But as you can see, you wouldn't actually be able to um, eat food off this one. So these designs are all finished off very well and have a uh, good presentation. And show a lot of imagination.